And had I got in that role that I really wanted, I wouldn't have been able to audition for Evie. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Lisa, long time no see. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. It's it's like Sophia Day. You have a song and a movie out today. Like, thank you. you <laughs> surreal. It's really surreal. I'm really happy. Awesome. Um, I love the movie. It's so cute and obviously has such a great um, message. A lot of times, you know, these kids that you work with look up to you. You give them advice, all that. What did you learn from them? So much. Um, you know, I, I always say that it's my most important role to be able to, in some way, um, inspire um, young girls and young boys around the world or to somehow make them feel loved and seen. And that's exactly what I felt in this film with these young girls. April learned so much from them, as did I. They are just remarkable young women who are kind of beyond their years and they're fearless and they're courageous. And um, they also became a sisterhood and I admire that so much. I loved seeing how much they loved and supported each other on and off the screen. I was really moved by that. But I think our story is so important, not only because of April's story, because of their story as well. Each of them and their characters are so unapologetically themselves and they love themselves and they are proud of who they are. And I hope that whoever watches this film sees a piece of themselves in each and every one of our characters. I love that. And I also didn't know that I needed to see little kids doing the hammer dance. It was fantastic. Uh, obviously, April goes through kind of the worst audition in her life that ends up leading to kind of the biggest yes in her life as well. For you, obviously, having auditioned for a lot of things, do you have one of those no stories that ended up being a blessing in disguise? Countless. Count well, you know what? Blessing in disguise, there is one in particular. Um, it was it was a no before I got Evie. And had I got in that role that I really wanted, I wouldn't have been able to audition for Evie. And, you know, I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't be here right now speaking with yeah. you today. But there are also so many auditions in the past that, like April, we blow and we learn and we grow from that and we kind of take that in stride. And this is obviously about embracing those those quirks and kind of your uniqueness, um, things that you maybe saw as flaws and then you realize are actually kind of like superpowers in a way. What is something that you learned along the way that you kind of embraced and been like, oh, it wasn't, you know, as a kid, I thought it was horrible, but now I, I see it as a strength. That's a great question. And I think it's an ongoing process of learning that about yourself. April says to the girls in one of her speeches to them towards the end of the movie that in the beginning she was focused on everything that was wrong. And then she finally sees that her, their quirks and imperfections are what make them beautiful. And that's such a simple but powerful statement that I feel like we need to say to ourselves as well. And April ended up having to learn that about herself as well. She had to embrace her imperfections and love them. And I'm still on that journey as well every single day. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there's, there's a lot about me when I was little that I, you know, maybe thought was weird. And now it's like, you know what, that's something that makes me me. Like I snort when I laugh and there are other things that, you know, I, I, I was never the cool girl in school. Um, I never really had that many friends. I never really went out or had boyfriends when I was little. And, you know, that's okay. That's part of what makes me me. And this movie has a great soundtrack. You're obviously a musician with great musical taste. So I thought we'd just do a quick making a soundtrack to your life. What is your favorite breakup song? Uh, Adele, oh wait, uh, Adele, All of Me. The shower song, like the song you just built out whether you're in the shower or even if you're driving. It's gotta be something Adele. The song that always gets you on the dance floor. Right now, Rain On Me, Lady God, by Ariana Grande. And also, Don't Start, don't start Now, Dua Lipa. And a last one, what would you pick as the, the theme song to your life right now? The theme song to my life right now. Okay, I'm a little bit biased, but I'm gonna say my new song that I just released today called Miss You More Than You Know. It's a really special song to me. Um, the story that it tells is very close to my heart. And um, I think also right now, a lot of us are missing people that we love. So to anyone watching that I love and to all my fans, I miss you more than you know. Awesome. I love it. It's a great song. I listened to it this morning. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, well, congratulations, Sophia. It's so great to see you Thank through you. even if it's virtually. <laughs> I'm not sure if I pick that, if, the, if that's the correct song oh. type for Adele, so you have to check that with me. Okay, but, I'll check it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a brain right now, but <laughs> you'll, you'll know. <laughs>